today I'm going to show you how to create give me a second sound a bit squeaky <laughs> and that's not me it's the chair yep yeah, definitely needs a bit of oil and bear with me a second right good bit of oil on there sounds better let's give it a spin see what it's like <laughs> Right, where was I? I'm John, and this is Fun with Filmora. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. I was going to show you how to do a time lapse in Filmora, and there's two ways I'm going to show you. One, by using a video you may already have, and two, by using photographs. A lot of cameras, phones, they take time lapse photography now and it'll either create the video for you or you can create yourself with images. So the first way I'll show you is by using a video you may already have. So let's just import a, a video. Let's have a look at that one. I'm going to keep this as a short clip for obvious reasons. And you can see at this moment in time, this one is only 34 seconds long. And this is what it looks like as it plays in normal speed. Okay, nice and slow. We want to make that into a time lapse. I'm just going to click here so we can see it all in the timeline. And what I'm going to do now, I've found the easiest way, is to right click on the clip, go to show speed control, and then a new little icon will appear if you hover your mouse over the right hand side. And that's the speed control. Just drag that left or right. Left makes the video faster, drag it right, it makes it slower. We want it to be faster. And the good thing about using this method is you can drag it, test it, okay, still not fast enough, nowhere near, drag it again and I'll drag it right down to about three seconds and you'll notice that that 34 second clip has now shrunk down to about two seconds 20 and it now looks like a time lapse. How easy was that? Just export that, very simple. The next method is by using images, so I'll just delete that delete that and I will import images right there are a lot of images here because when you're doing time-lapse photography it will take a picture in set intervals it's usually about one to two seconds I think between a period of maybe 15 minutes or more something like that so you get a load of images with frames missing in between so let me show you if I drag all these images in that was taken using a time-lapse setting you will see let me just again just make that full width you'll see if I play it it stays in that one image for a number of frames then it'll jump to the next image and you see it just moving slightly forward there the boat well that's no good what we need to do is make sure they're all highlighted we need to change the duration of these and you do that by clicking on this little icon here you see it's in hours, minutes, seconds and frames. We want these images, all of the images, to be one frame long. So just change that to one and do save. What happens now is all those images are one frame but there's loads of gaps in between. We want to get rid of them. Right click anywhere within the images. This week's pin number for the monthly giveaway is number two. And do close gap. Shrinks them all down. And you'll see that it's shrunk it right the way down to, let me just have a look now, two seconds. But if we play it, we've got another time lapse video. How easy was that? So now you can transform all your videos that you have. And if you do take time lapse photography and it doesn't automatically make it into a video itself, you can do it now and film more very easily. Hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial and I hope you have a play around and Please show me some of the videos you create by dropping a link in the comments below. If there's anything you'd like me to do a tutorial on for you, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Now go have some fun. Did you hear me mention this week's pin number? You'll need that to enter the £50 giveaway at the end of the month. <laughs>